Hello, and welcome to Be Your Own Force of Nature. What does it mean to be your own force of nature? What does that feel like to be your own force of nature? Um, for me, at this stage of my life, at the age that I am, <laughs> I, I can't even believe it when I think about it, when I allow myself to think about the fact that I've been on this earth for it will be 60 years come April. And in a way, that's incredibly mind-blowing to me. And yet at the same time, I feel like <sighs> I've lived almost three times that. I mean, I can't describe it in just a few words. So, and I mean, hell, even now compared to nine months ago, I am such a different person, a wiser person. The life that I have lived, or I should say the way I have lived this life, according to the changes within me spiritually. Uh, I've changed because of the spiritual growth. Um, how I look at things, how I see things, you know, how I, how I interpret, how I perceive, how I feel the emotional um, way, the emotional feeling. So to be your own force of nature, to be my own force of nature encompasses all of those things. The emotional part of my life, the physical part of my life, the visual part of my life is amazing to say the least. Um, my own, my own spin on things, my own driving force my own take on life as I now know it. And to be my own force of nature means to take charge and do things my way, the way I like, the way I see fit, the way it makes me happy to do things the way that feels good in my soul. And I have been wanting to do this for God. I want to say the better part of the last maybe 10, 15 years of my life. But hey, you know, here I am. Here I am right now, right here and right now. I am better now than I've ever been in my entire 60 years. I mean, when I think back, 
to who I was at 30. <laughs> to who I am, or I should say who I was at 40, at 45. I started to take notice of my the physical part of me because I had my I had had my kids two incredible people now who are in their 20s and they're the best things that I've ever done the best creations ever that uh, the universe has blessed me with being able to provide are those people um, I want to try to go somewhere here and, and make sense of this, but I just got this urge and the calling to just sit down and do it. I've been wanting to do a podcast, a YouTube, um, a, a way to express my love for me, for my life, for who I am in this life. And it is about being my own force of nature, expressing myself. And I guess if I could, if I could start with something, it would be my oils, my young living essential oils. They are my, uh, they are my reason. They were the, they are the catalyst which brought me to this place of where I'm at right now. They have essentially cracked my world right wide open. Um, they taught me what it means to be real and be authentic. And what does it mean to be authentic? People could, a, could say, could ask. Being authentic, being real, being who you are because it is who you are, because you have something to say, because you feel it deep down inside. And who cares who's listening and who's watching? You just have something to say and you're going to say it. My God, you're going to say it. But the oils have done this for me. They have taught me about being authentic, about being real. And they've gotten me to the point of, I have gotten rid of so many things that I thought I needed in my life to be who I am today. And you know what that is? That's called habits. And habits are not the same thing as needs. These oils have caused me to realize that where I'm at right now, I don't need a whole lot of that shit that I used to carry, that I used to have in my life, that I thought I would not be able to make it without. I mean, I have reduced so much of the clutter, so much of the waste, so much of the useless thinking. Um, it's amazing how they've gotten me to take off my shoes and touch the floor. Uh, better yet, to go outside and be one with nature, touch the ground. And imagine, as a very dear friend said to me, imagine roots coming from your feet that attach, that are attaching themselves to the ground. They're going through the floor and grounding you and holding you in your space of authenticity, of realness. But these oils are my reason for being. They've caused me to be what I want to be, see what I want to see. Um, 
live in a world that I want to live in, a real world, um, to be kinder, to be more loving, to be more caring and more genuine, um, more peaceful. It's called the honor system. Uh, there's nobody wagging their finger at me and telling me what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. It's coming from within me. It's coming from my heart, my soul. That realness, that trueness inside of me that wants to love and be loved. <sighs> that wants to be one with the earth. That wants to love, that, that doesn't want to cause any harm. She wants to live authentically, peacefully, lovingly, kindly. This is what being my own force of nature is all about. It caused me to create my Facebook page. Um, my own two little videos that I've got going so far on YouTube. Um, these oils are nothing but plants, um, the sticks, the cells, the leaves, the tears, the blood and the sweat from these plants that are genuine. That is what is, these oils are made of. And the beautiful part is they grow back. They can grow back. You can pick them and use them. And there's nothing added. And my life has exploded. It has cracked wide open. I'm not harming anything. I'm not harming anybody. And they've caused me to live. They've caused me to rejoice. And they've caused me to be authentic. They've caused me to be real. I no longer have to live my life according to what anybody else thinks. Um, and I know people laugh at me all day long. Hell, I can laugh at me. You've got to be able to laugh at yourself. That's it right there. You got to be able to laugh at yourself. Nobody is perfect. There is no set way to do things. But by being my own force of nature, I know where I am going to start each and every day of my life. And it's with these oils. They've caused me to look around me and see my world in its beauty, in its genuine form. Um, I want to be loving and kinder. Um, it, it, they've made me more aware of what I put inside of my body. Uh, I no longer eat meat, and I'm not shy about saying that, um, because I realize I would rather look into the eyes of an animal, looking at what I'm looking at and seeing the joy and the love and feel their love and their joy by looking back at them that does wonders for me uh, i no longer blindly go go through life 
um, doing things. I look at everything in its true form and wonder wonder that about this earth and this universe but realize that it's all here for me and what we see what we think our thoughts are mightier than our words so what we're not saying we're thinking and those thoughts are coming out over our heads and creating this world around us. And when you think good things, you're going to get more good things. And these oils have caused me to see the love and the beauty of this earth and what is around me, the genuineness of life in all forms. So when someone asks you, as I'm asking you, what does it mean to be your own force of nature? This is where I come from. Being real. Um, speaking up for things that, that speak to my heart. Uh, things I feel are an injustice. If you go on my Facebook page, you will see what I post about. Um, <sighs> treating others the way you would like to be treated. If you want love, you're going to get love. If you want happiness, you'll get happiness by and love, by projecting that, by putting it out there, by treating others the way you want to be treated, by treating the earth the way you, when you want to see growth and beauty, then that's how you're going to treat the earth. And I've always told my children, don't pick flowers. Let the flowers grow. They're showing you their beauty by their petals opening wide. Run your, your hand down your cat's back. Uh, look into the eyes of your dog by loving your dog, kissing your dog. What does that do for you? When they love you back with their eyes and with their bodies. Um, I, when I turn on that monitor in my living room, I turn on bird sounds. Um, you know, YouTube is famous for all these kinds of things now. Everybody's doing this ASMR, this, that ev invokes, evokes feeling. Because everybody, I believe, everybody wants to feel good. Everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants to be loved. So why not put that right back in to the earth? Put it right back into what you want. When you want these wonderful, incredible things, do that. Give back what you want to see. That's saying, be the change you want to see. Be the change you need to see. Be the person you want to meet. This is what my podcast is all about, guys. What does it mean to be your own force of nature? What does it mean to you? This is what it means to me by being authentic and being real and being kind with the earth. And what started me with that was my oils. I, I mean, it's, I, I can't explain it in a few words as you can hear. I want to be kind and I want to be loving and I want the same thing back. And 
smiling from ear to ear every day just for the sake of it. Getting up every day with gratitude for what I have right now. You know, yeah, we've all been through something, but that's called the past. And you can say, well, that's what brought me here right now. Yes, it did, but I'm not going to dwell on it. I want to talk about the here and the now, where I'm at right now. And where I'm at right now is so much better than I could ever have imagined 60 years ago. I am being my own force of nature. And what has gotten me here are my Young Living Essential Oils. August 2017. I'm so grateful every day that I discover them because it's like peeling back the layers of an onion. I am today who I am because of them. All of the things I have shed off is because of these oils. I am in my true, authentic form and space, comfortable in my space right now. And guess what? It just keeps going. It just keeps going. It just keeps, there are, are more and more layers that just keep coming off. You know, what I liked and thought I needed yesterday, I don't need today. Every day is a new day. Every day you have a chance to do over what you don't like, what you're not happy with, or what you do like, what feels good, more of the same. And I hold these oils responsible. I give credit to Gary Young's company, Young Living Essential Oils. And also they've caused me to reach out to other things that have been created in the name of natural, in the name of not doing any harm, in the name of being authentic and being kind. Reach for the most beautiful natural thing there is that didn't cause harm and does not cause harm to others and to this earth you live in the earth you stand on. Realize how easy it is to just flip on the boob tube and watch crap that's on the TV littering your ears and your brain or just leave it off or turn on the wonderful YouTube and pick out bird sounds, pick out waterfall, pick out fireplace snapping, cracking, and popling, popping, um, or something funny. And I have my old standby, <laughs> Seinfeld. I used to have a sticker on my car that said, my life is a Seinfeld moment. That man is brilliant because he can laugh at himself and he's made fun of every single solitary thing that's ever been done, ever been created. He's laughing at, it's hysterical. But laughter, just, you know, get up every day and say thank you for everything that you have. Get outside and put your feet flat on the ground and touch the earth and let the roots grab a hold of the earth and pin you there and close your eyes and listen, listen to the silence and the nature around you, be it birds, be it wind, rain, uh, traffic, cars. People created those. But just embrace your life. Embrace where you are. And if there's something about your life that you don't like, be willing to change it. Be strong enough to change it. Because... If you don't like it, you're just going to keep getting more of the same until you do something about it. Everybody can create the life of their dreams. That's what these oils have done for me. That's what they are doing for me. 
and my spiritual growth is off the charts and it just keeps right on going. It just keeps right on giving. Um, causing me to be creative, causing me to embrace my own power, my own strength. You know? Uh, so, accepting me, accepting my power, accepting all the wonderful changes in me, and believing in all of the miracles, and that everything is unlimited, and uh, thinking of dear Tony Robbins, and when he asks about fear, you know, what is fear? Turn fear on itself and say, I don't want to live in fear. I want to be bold and be me. And if you have something deep down in your soul that you want, then nothing, and I mean no one, Nothing is going to stop it from coming out. Nothing. Think of the cracks on the sidewalk where a little green, a little green vine pops up through that cement or that dirt. It has to be. It must be. It's screaming to come out. Be, it's saying, be. Be who you're meant to be. Be authentic. Be your own force of nature. Be love. Be kind. Be joy. Be happy. Be free. Be free. As Tony says, the pain of what you want must burst right through of what you don't have. You are yearning to be. And I gotta be. I gotta be my own force of nature. And these oils are helping me to be just that. I am no longer a carbon copy of anyone else. I am no longer living in that third dimensional place of what everybody else is, what everybody else wants to be. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of that. I don't want to be that. I don't want somebody telling me how to live. I don't want somebody telling me what to do. And I intend to keep going. I've busted through the roof. And I'm going to keep going. And I invite anyone out there who cares about themselves enough to be, to be their own force of nature, to live the life they want to live, be the person they're dying to be, not who life dictates for them to be. What is that stirring in your heart telling you? That feeling in the pit of your stomach. If you get up every day and it doesn't feel good, then what needs to change? What needs to change right now? Be your own force of nature. Welcome to my podcast of Be Your Own Force of Nature. This is just the beginning and it's just going to keep on going and everybody I don't corner the market on freedom on happiness on joy on love I'm just like everybody else in that I am a being I am a beam of light that has to express herself you guys are the same you have the same desires inside of you or that same yearning 
that same desire that has to express himself, herself. Let it be. Be it, do it, see it, think it, breathe it. I dare you. I dare you. Your life will happily never be the same. Ever. Whatever you need to do to make the difference, to be, to be your own force of nature, start right now. Stop allowing people and places and things dictate your life. Start being your own force of nature. Find a way to change what you are looking at that you are not happy with. Whatever circumstance you've created for yourself, go to the left, go to the right, go forward, but do not go backwards. You are not going that way. You must keep going forward. You must be your own force of nature. <laughs> I'm wishing everybody peace, love, and light, and saying, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. And uh, you got a voice, you got a heart, you got a spirit, you got a soul that is yearning to be free, yearning to create, yearning to feel yearning to feel so much that you want to be happy, that wants to feel good. Thank you, Abraham Hicks. That's your goal, to be happy, to feel good. Be your own force of nature and do it. Create it. Be it. Okay? <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. I will be back with my podcast. This is Teresa with Be Your Own Force of Nature on Facebook. My force, let's see, force of nature underscore essentials on Instagram. I invite you to check it out. But more than that, I invite you to be your own force of nature. I invite you guys to be who you want to be. I invite you to, I dare you to be that feeling deep down in your gut. I dare you to express it. I dare you to live your life and explore it. I dare you. Be your own force of nature. Peace, love, and light, everybody.